Wow. Holy moly, I thought it was oh my god. Literally just rows of community fish. It's where they breed all their um, Asian and silver arowanas. Wow, these guys are really really pretty. So today I'm going to share with you the reason I started YouTube. Look at that. Hey, what is going on friends? Welcome back to another video. If you are new to the channel, my name is Ashley and I make new fish videos every single week. So remember to smash that subscribe button and come join the family. Look at that guys, it's a beautiful sunny day out there. Perfect for going to the fish farm. Over here, I have my 20 gallon. Um, you guys will notice that it's drastically different from what I used to have. I'll put a picture of what it looked like at its peak and I guess I just decided it's time for a change I got sick of all the Komboba creating so much um, shadows and it just was so dark I wanted something bright they can really see the fish oh that's my pleco over there that's a tiger pleco um, there are many I think there are quite a few plecos that go by the name tiger pleco it's actually a L002 pleco and yeah you guys can see this place is really dirty I did a lot a lot of water changes yesterday but somehow, you know, there's just way too much detritus. The tank is pretty nice, pretty neat, but I want to add a bit more plants inside. Chen is probably not really known for the plants, but um, the main reason I actually want to go there is for fish. I want a splash of red. You guys can see inside here. It's Yeah, we need something that stands out, you know, and that's a red. I'm leaning towards something like a serpe tetra, but I don't know for sure. That's why I want to go to Chen Hu. I want to go somewhere that has, you know, just a selection so that I can actually see it. And then, you know, when you're there, you sort of really know whether you want it or not. But since we're there, I'm going to give you guys a tour around Chen Hu Fish Farm. So we're here at Chen Hu Fish Farm and the rain is coming. It's going to pour. So I'll let you guys see a quick look. We are over here at the breeding ponds of Asian arowana. Inside this pond, there are a couple of uh, albino silver arowana these are albino silver arowanas look at them swimming around so this is where they breed all their um, asian and silver arowanas and look at that over there they're growing some plants inside this look like a uh, pandan leaves that's pretty cool all right i better get out of here it's pouring it's pouring all right so this is their uh, like a shen hu cafe they call it look at that shen hu cafe like a lot of snacks inside there this is literally just rows of community fish and this is this is not even everything yet because they still have another gallery over the other side so this row is uh, probably where we're gonna find something over here we have like a it's pretty dark Cristilla tetras amber tetras oh look at this so these are the Emperor Tetras. They get pretty huge. They look a bit like Serpe, but they look pretty different. They're definitely the color I want. But what are they? Silver tip Tetras. These guys are pretty interesting. I think they are the kind that, oh, they're actually scared. I thought they would actually come up to my hand. There's uh, many different rows of, you know, we have the black, oh, the black neons are pretty cool. I like how big they get. They're really look how juicy their body is. So awesome, guys. Um, down below over here we have lemon tetra. Oh, all right. So this is actually this is one thing that I'm really considering. These are the Colombian tetras. Take a look, guys. So, oh, it's a little bit dark, but. So it is quite dark, but if you take a look, they really look like mini piranhas. That is so awesome. That is why I want them. They look they really like mini piranhas. Here we have, um, I think these are the bloodfin tetras. Pretty cool as well. Alright, so we're on to another row. Over here we have swat tails. Pretty cool. Mollies. So there's a lot of live bearers over here. Sorry, not mollies. These are platys. They're high fin platys. 
a lot of this uh, is like the life barrel row more platies different type of platies your red wagtail platy honey gouramis so we have the different colors these are the golden honey and these are the red honey gouramis more of your neon dwarf gourami all the different type of dwarf gourami on this side Ooh, what do we have here oh look at this snail guys oh that's gary he's having a hard time moving what well, this side we have tiger barbs these are your Albino tiger barbs. So these are a lot of barbs, or desa barbs. Uh, more different varieties of tiger barbs over here. And our standard, oh, I love it, our standard variety of tiger barbs. Best fish ever. All right, guys. I know a lot of you are arowana lovers. Let's check out the house. There it is. There it is. The house of dragon. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful Asian arowana. Living with his placo in there. Oh, this one too. I love Asian arowana. They're such a beast of a fish. Just, just look at, they look so prehistoric and such fierce predators. And oh, look, look at that placo that he's living with. I mean, it is just like a common placo, I believe, but it looks weirdly shaped for some reason. All right, check this guy out. So this is a silver arowana. So these are like some corals that they have just uh, sitting around. And lots of arowanas to choose from. Let's see this guy, golden crossback. Yeah, it looks like he has some potential. So another roll. I'm not sure why some of them the lights are off. Maybe they are like, I don't know, going through quarantine or something. But yeah, inside them, most of them, there are arowanas inside. So check out the whole beta corner. So much to choose from and a really, really nice poster. So literally just rows and rows of betas to choose from. Look at that. Let me see which one's my favorite. Oh, this guy looks pretty interesting. Not something I normally see. This fish, Oscars. It's a. It's a, been a dream of mine to own one of these, but they need a quite a big tank. They grow really fast and. Yeah, they get really big, really fast. Pretty noisy here as well. What's this? This is called Golden Shark. Looks like they'll get... Into, it looks like they'll grow into big monsters as well. So these are our Bala Sharks. These guys definitely get into monsters. They're usually sold as though like they're community fish. For small tanks, but oh, they boy, do they get huge! Nice uh, albino plateau up there with more Oscars. So, over this side, we have a couple of angelfish, angelfish, angelfish. So, lots of angelfish. Over on this side, we have a couple of like African cichlids. Oh, look at the colors! I love it. Really, really active fish as well. 
These are even more, these are peacocks. Oh, look at them, so aggressive. That is nuts. African cichlid tank. That's something I gotta do one day as well. So over on this side, they have uh, more life bearers. And check this out. So this is like their Corridora section. How cool is that? They have like a whole, you know, a couple of tanks dedicated to Corridoras. So this is, oh, this is a Corridora I've never seen before. It's called Corridoras Arcautus. Check it out. Check it out. Corridoras. I don't know how to pronounce it. Arcautus. And look at that. Oh, I like this one. This one is so cool. Look at that gold stripe. So if any of you want to see the name, it's called uh, Corridoras. Yeah, I don't know how you pronounce that. Peru Gold Strike. Oh, check this out, guys. So we have a crab over here. And lots of crayfish. So it's really interesting. This is how they sell it. I, I guess I guess if you buy one, you just get like you just take this whole mini thing back. And look at this guy. Oh guys, check this out. These are parkus. I really, really want want to own. I I really, really want to own one of these, but I doubt I ever will because they get really big, and I mean really, really big. But so what's really interesting about them is that they're actually related to the piranha family, and I'm pretty sure some of them were pretty nasty teeth. But you look at them; they just look like a mini piranha, and when they grow big, they look like a huge. They actually get even bigger than a piranha. Oh, look at this. Inside here, we have a couple of uh, red gear sliders. Really, really cute. Look at them. How are you, buddy? Parrotfish. Lots of parrotfish, actually. Look at that. Parrotfish. 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 More parrotfish. Oh, these guys are so dark. More parrotfish, more parrotfish. All right, guys. I think you guys get the idea. This is a row of parrotfish. So this is what they call their offer corner, and they do have quite a bit of plants over here. Let's see what they have. So another difficulty still is like I don't know their names, but what I believe I have in my tank at this moment, and I want to add more is this. So it looks like a Valisneria, but I really don't know if it is. So. If anyone knows, just drop me a comment down below. I'll, I'll probably end up getting a couple of this and just plant them. Alright guys, so it actually has stopped raining so we can go out and check the Arowana ponds again and take a good look. And oh, the weather is actually pretty good. Also guys, if you're enjoying this video, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up. I know a lot of you guys come back every week, so just leave a thumbs up every week because it really does help the YouTube algorithm, which trust me, is a pain in the butt. So we gotta make that algorithm happy a little bit. Leave them some likes so they know this video is good. And they push the video out. Videos as well. I do more videos. Everybody enjoys. And we get to see more awesome stuff like this. Oh guys, check it out. Oh, so we can still hear the thunder is going. But it's alright, it's dry. Look at the guy. Look at the guy right there. Oh, okay. He got scared. You see some over on the other end. A little faint looks of them. Oh, look at that. There's a lot. I don't know if you guys can see. But there are a lot of dragonflies flying around as well. This is like a really... You know, very ecosystem we have going here. Insects. I'm pretty sure some of some of the arowanas will get to eat these dragonflies when they go too close. Because if you guys don't know, like arowanas are jumpers and they can really, really jump for food. So they would jump out and eat some dragonfly. I'm pretty sure that happens. A mini island of plants seems to be growing out of the water. I bet. I bet it's helping with the filtration. And over on this side, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are pandan leaves. They look like pandan leaves that they're growing. Alright guys, so I got a confession to make. That's actually another reason that I came back to Chenhu today. And that's because I'm coming back. And that's because it's been a year since I started doing YouTube. But if you guys followed me since then, it's the first video that I actually did proper. And it's, at, it's over here at Chenhu Fish Farm. So this is sort of like this. You know, down Mary Lane. Guys, if you like my content, if you want to see more, like this video, subscribe to my channel, 
and I will know that you guys want to see more. I will keep creating videos and trust me, it's gonna get better. This is my first video. I'm gonna be working to improve on my filming, my editing, my speaking. So today, I'm going to share with you the reason I started YouTube. And it's actually one of many reasons, but this is a pretty big one. And so you can imagine that this whole week, I pretty much, or the last two weeks, I spent almost, almost every day doing something aquarium related outside and God knows how long I spent at home just watching my tank and playing around with it messing around with the scape which is why I need to find fish today we live in a society where productivity is valued and you can imagine if someone my age is just going around fish farms and watching aquariums every day it's, um, it's, a, it's, it's, not, it's not really a, a accepted you know unless I could find a way to make it like I'm doing something productive and that's what YouTube is for, is it? It's the something productive I'm doing, learning new skills, video editing, video making, um, social media marketing, whatever you want to call it. And this, guys, just finding a reason to come out here and enjoy all this every day. So just know that every time you watch one of my videos, you leave me a comment, leave me a, or you subscribe, you leave me a like, you're helping me enjoy my time outside here. Can you feel the Christmas mood? Yo, 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 yo. Oh, look at this guy. He's trying to get up. He's trying to get up. He's like, I want to be at the top of the mountain. He totally just put his claw in another guy's face. Can he get up? Will he get up? Will he get up? Oh, he sees us. Oh, okay. The guy beside him is now they're scaling the mountain. Everybody wants to be king. But there can only be one. And there he is. He's now at the top of the mountain. Into the... Chen Hu Fish Gallery. So inside here, the, just now we were at the like the community section, and over there it's a lot. Other than the marine fish, we have a lot of like very small community fish. Inside here, there are actually a lot more bigger fish. Ooh, looks like they have a, like a shipment over here. What's in there? Oh, those are what are those? Cichlids, albino cichlids. Oh, look at this, guys. Thing race. Those are some crazy colors. More stingrays on that side. Alright, let's take a quick look what they have over here. Maybe we could get something. So these are a lot of live bearers, guppies. Oh, look at these guys. Albino Pegasus. So awesome. Some beautiful flower horns. Oh look at this guy. So the red the red on the red eyes really stand out from the body. And yeah, pretty responsive, aggressive. This one, I'm not sure if it's a male or female, but it looks like pretty is the word I'll use to describe it. Not as aggressive, so you can see the difference between the two of them. This guy is so much more reactive. Here we have the giant gourami. Another flower horn. Oh, look at this. Oh, this guy is so stubby and cute. Are you Thanos' brother? He's a cute fella. Oh, wow. Holy moly, look. Get him to turn. Turn. Look. Whoa. Okay, so he's responsive as well, but look at that. That is some crazy pattern, guys. So, so lots of flower horns over here. Let's see what else they have. Flower horns, flower horns. Lots of flower horns, guys. And I really, oh, their patterns are so nice. It's alright. It's alright. I like, I like Thanos. It's alright. I don't need you guys. Um, over on this side, snake heads, chanas, such an awesome fish. These are, are they like Raphael catfish? I think they are. Archer fishes. So if you guys don't know, archer fish they can actually shoot, you know, like aim outside of the tank and shoot down any kind of like insect that might be hanging on branches or whatever that is these are I believe these are viejas and if they are viejas 
that's actually one of the secrets that is usually used in flower horn breeding. Oh wow, look at that, snakeheads, shanas. Wow, these guys are really really pretty and really active as well. And they're not that expensive, one piece, $10. I would be so tempted to buy it by space. Wow, look at this guy. What a beast. What a beast. Is he reactive? Oh, wow. Holy moly, I thought he would... Oh my god. I thought he would be pretty docile. This is what we call a glass banger right here. Show me what you got, buddy. Show me what you got. What if I put my hand above? Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, we, we, we don't want to deal with like a fish jumping out right now. Bad idea. Especially one of, one of that size, that's crazy. Oh wow, this guy's face is huge. And he's really cute. He's really cute. This is like the cutest, weirdest fish I've ever seen. And very responsive as well. Wow, wow. Look at that. He would play with you all day. Would he jump up? Jump for me, buddy. Wow. So don't be deceived by that happy looking face. He doesn't look, yet, you know, he doesn't look aggressive though. Because of his face, he looks like he's constantly smiling at you. Friendly fish, you're a friendly fish. Oh, look at that. Rows of tanks, guys. This is why I love this place. Oh, wow. Alright, I remember this. First time we came to Chenhu. I think it was a different flower horn though. But it's like, oh, he's hungry, he's hungry. Oh, he's hungry, he's hungry. Yeah, this guy's not that hungry. Oh, he is? Are you hungry? Really big eyes. All right, let's see what they got. Oh, wow. Waru cichlids. So there's a lot of uh, African cichlids over here. Check it out. African cichlids. Frontosaurus. Also, uh, let me start this one, uh, my tank. You, you set up this tank, is it? Uh, my supervisor and us, we all set up. Ah. But how I mean, still a bit ugly. La. <laughs> how, long, how long has it been running? Uh, close to uh, two months. Already. Two months already. Uh. A bit ugly. La. A bit ugly. Still growing in, la. right? Yeah. Still growing in. All the leaves still got to cut everything, trim a lot. How long, how long do you take to set it up? Uh, a month plus. One month plus? Uh? Oh. Very difficult. So now running chiller is it? That's why it's oh, running chiller. Chiller. Right, okay. So there are a lot of shrimps in here. Raminos tetras. And wow, let's take a let's take a white look at that again. Really beautiful guys. Alright guys, so I'm back home and check it out. A bag full of things. Let's see what's inside. Alright, so first up we have plants. Just uh, this plant is the same one that is in there. More of it, in fact, a lot more of it. We're gonna make this look like some I don't know, really tall grass forest look. Oh, three of this and then and then all right check this out guys these are you ready these are like mini piranhas all right look at that so right now they are a little stressed out in the back so they don't have color i'll roll in some b-roll footage of when they're in the tank and they're colored up they really look like piranhas and these are actually the and these are actually the columbia tetras we've got six of them over here and finally look at this this is a red ancestress I can't remember the name they put it I was like something like super red and these guys as well so they actually have like a blue tinge on top of them you can see they're going crazy so their, their tail will be red and they have a blue tinge on top of them check out the color of the pleco and look how much poop he made in the back while he was just in this short journey home. A few moments later.
Oh guys, look at that. So his colors are not really showing now. Now let's see if they'll feed. So I'm actually heading away for a couple of days. This is my auto feeder that I just set up. Inside is a Dr. Bessler's Biofish Food. And I hope, I hope the amount comes out correct. Alright. So let's see if the Columbia Tetras are ready to eat. This is the garlic flavor. So if you guys don't know, garlic is something that fish um, are attracted to in terms of the smell. So they will actually go crazy over it. Let's see if the Columbia Tetras are ready. I literally only put them in for like, I don't know, 10 minutes. Alright, there we go. Spin this. It's gonna turn. It's gonna... Ooh! Alright. Oh, that's actually very little. That's good. We don't want to overfeed them. Especially when we're away. So we'll wait for the filter to blow it in. One round and then okay. Alright. It's all coming in. Oh, wow. They're going for it already. Look at that. Alright, literally 10 minutes out of the bag, cut it up and eating aggressively. Alright, that is all I have for you guys today. I just want to thank everyone that's been following my journey for the past one year. It has been one year since I've been on YouTube. So thank you everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to see more of this kind of content, then like and subscribe. And if not, I will see you in the next video. Get out.